Okay. Whoa, okay. Um, hello. Uh, my name is Kellen, as you probably know by now. And you might be wondering, why are you playing this? What's wrong with you? Um, well, I've never actually played DDLC. Um, I remember it was really popular. Uh... I think I watched a playthrough of it, but I remember, like, very little other than, unfortunately, the ending. Sorry. Um, but... Uh, I, I just don't remember much of it, so I will be playing this game for the first time. Can I just, like... Individual, oh. Individuals suffering from anxiety, depression or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit that. Oh, do I have to use my mouse for this? By playing Doki Doki Literature, Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Oh. Whoa. Hold on, can I like... How would I, how do I full screen? No, 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 not airplane mode. How do I turn that off? Okay, um, that didn't like mess up my recording, did it? Nope, better not have. Okay, I agree, yeah. Whoa, ow. Turn that down a little. Okay, give me like one second. Okay. I've heard... Okay, I think that's the last time I'm checking that. Oh, okay, that did it, that did it, that did it, that did it, guys. Okay. Um... I, I don't think I need to do much of an introduction into your name. Oh, should I just put in my real name? Okay. <laughs> this might be very weird, but I'll just do that. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, You know what? I gotta grab something. I gotta grab my water. Give me, like, one second. <sighs> Okay, I got my water and my blanket because I wanted my blanket. I love my blanket. So, um, fun fact, I'm not editing that out because I don't feel like figuring out how to use CapCut on my computer. Oh, everything is falling around me, except it's not, and it's only one thing, but I want to be overdramatic. Okay. Hey, stop doing that. Okay, now, now I'm ready. Hi. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, er, <clears throat> you know, the kind of friend you've never, you never, you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep more, and more frequently I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> okay, thanks. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean. <laughs> I don't, uh, I kind of regret, I, I don't like them saying my name. <laughs> That's mean, Khaled. <laughs> mm, I love water. 
Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have... I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Kellen, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I already told you, I'm not really interested. Oh, sorry, that's that's not her talking. <laughs> I'm not doing voices, because I can't do the voice of a woman. <laughs> that's just one thing that's kind of out of my range. <clears throat> I already told you, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't... I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori, uh, <laughs> Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average wealth by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but i die at the thought of you becoming a... A what? A neat? In a few years, because you're not used to the real world. I don't know what a neat is. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Bro's literally me. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants, to, wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... No, what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> uh, meanie. I'm not doing that. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Okay. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> what? <laughs> I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. 
Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Okay, so, like, since I'm not really doing my... Oh, this is the iconic song. Okay, so, I... Anyway, um, should I, like, give them different voices? Well, I'll give them different tones of voices if I can. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. S s say or jeez, <sighs> no! What? Oh, <laughs> that was a bit of a that was a bit of an overreaction. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Ah, Kellen, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of... Oh, I'm not saying that. I am not saying that. Not a chance. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So sorry. Natsuki. Hm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears completely more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's... Nice to meet both of you. It's... It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Kellen. Monica smiles sweetly. Ugh. We do know each other. We... Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Yeah, you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Kellen. We made room for you at the table, so... So you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll, I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri, uh, sorry, Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki probably... Pr <laughs> Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. That's cute. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first one, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I haven't, haven't I heard this somewhere before? Make them for you or anything. It's not like oh, I made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe. But not for you, you know. You dummy. Uh, this is... This, okay, I'm sorry. This is a little cringe. This is a little bit cringe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to any die-hard DDLC fans, but it's it's just a, it's just a smidge. Just a smidge cringe. 
All right, all right. I Now, that could be the point. I don't know. I only vaguely remember the ending. I should have mentioned that earlier. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. I thought that said carrying a seat. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> don't let d don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Huh? That's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean, I I mean I, mean, I meant that, you know. I I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider joining the literature club? Um, <laughs> I was afraid of this question. <laughs> Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make sure the club, or it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for many of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Uh, and it, if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the clubs yet. Ouch! <laughs> must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the... Uh, are, are, uh, not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. <coughs> oh, Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. You have to work hard to conceive. <laughs> you have to. I almost read that as conceive. <laughs> anyway, you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's... Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So... so oh, ugh, ugh. Anyway. So, Kellen, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Suki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking, and after seeing Yuri's sad smile... Any anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. 
Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so del can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, I, re I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. <clears throat> but if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often a successful is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just Suki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. <laughs> That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind. Last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! And get that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is... This is... Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Hey, I'm not cute. <laughs> this is so awkward to read out loud. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Huh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you, Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Suki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set exam you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. I need to give Monica more emotion, I feel like. Aw, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Huh? <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. <clears throat> Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Next time when we meet, we, we'll all share them with we'll, with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, thanks, Sayori. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Kellen? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. H hold on, there's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. <clears throat> I never said I would be I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a made any decisions. I never made any decision. I, I still have other clubs to look at, and um I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Kellen, you're all defenseless against these people. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? <sighs> that is, if writing a poem is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day. Oh, good grief. Ugh, <laughs> I'm not reading that. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. <laughs> one by one, the girls' I, 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 pfft, eyes lit up. Oh, I can save? Oh, jeez, it scared me. Save. Okay, okay, jeez. Yay, I'm so happy. Zoe wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. Scare me for a moment. 
If you really just came for the cupcakes, that would be super... Mm, is my dad in the next room? I'm not gonna risk it. My dad might be in the next room. I'd be super angry. Then that makes it... Then that makes it official. Welcome to the litter... Welcome... Uh, welcome to the literature club. There. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we all can share. Monica looks over at me once more. Kellen, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. I can really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre... Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Kellen, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Suri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Eh, sure, might, might as well. Yay! I gotta get water. Oh man, I love water. With that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monika. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll... Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of them. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick the words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. Um. Gosh, I don't know. Who do, who's my favorite? Um, I like Yuri the best, honestly. Massacre. Yeah, she liked horror. Death. It's gonna be so dark. <laughs> Massacre. Death. <laughs> um. <laughs> nightgown. <laughs> um. Boop. No. Uh, Natsuki's gonna hate this. Ambient? I, for I forgot what that contaminate. Um. Uh, contamination. <laughs> Undertale. Um, determination. Horror. Graveyard. Agonizing or wrath. Uh, <coughs> wrath. Crimson. No rain. What now? Crimson. Inferno. Incongruent. Infallible. Nibble. Nibble. No. Inferno. Um. Doki. Doki. Okay. Interesting. Skip it. Disaster. Explode. Unstable flying clumsy explosion. Explode. Grief. Uh, um, Sunny. Oh, I love Sunny. Sunny's my favorite character in Amori, but I have to go disarray. D despise. <laughs> Kawaii. No, no. Oh, so, oh, geez. Suicide. Jeez. Poof. Cry. Skirt. What? Judgment. Misery. Last one. Depression. Okay. Yuri's gonna love this. <laughs> Hi again, Kellen. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Nah, don't worry. 
This might be a little strange for me, but I at least kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was... Oh, yeah, I need more water. Hold on. Deepest apologies if you can hear that. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Kellen. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. <clears throat> Making you dive head first into the literature into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh come on, like he deserved any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join the clubs any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan just to come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in her club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Yeah, I, it is, because it's like reading and it's books and yeah. <laughs> Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Kellen always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Say Sayori, that's because your room is messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Kellen can become good friends, too. Is this a dating simulator? I really hope this isn't a dating simulator, because if it is, I'm not playing this. <laughs> Unless it's, like, really good. <laughs> Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she... She, 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 she just put... Man, she, wait, let me look at the history. I might be a little jealous. Oh, how come? You know why is that an awkward situation? Oh! 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 Yuri! Uh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori! Eh? Huh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy! It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori... <laughs> Sorry. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. <clears throat> uh... Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's... I'm, I kind of want to swap the voices between Monica and Sayori. I guess that means it's time for me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. If it'll... If... It, uh, uh, it'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I, I won't... I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. <laughs> this is... How is she being? Look, I really don't want to read that. I'm sorry. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. What is she doing there? I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. At the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. Catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. Looks like the same book that she lent to me. M more than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh, Crap. <laughs> I think 
think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. S Sorry, I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. I, if I was focused, then I probably would have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's that's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted you to... I, w I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean... I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well, mm hmm... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright, I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. <clears throat> Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister, but as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison, and while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... that's kind of dark, isn't it? Mary made it sound like she was... it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came uh, from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly when you thought you were then suddenly when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start if I start talking too much. That's I I really don't I I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh that's well that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading, right? <clears throat> You don't have to. Or, you don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you s said you were looking forward to it. Oh, dude, just shut up, dude. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, uh, all right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. Uh, sorry. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Oh, all right. 
Open the book and start the prologue. <sighs> I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if her presence over my shoulder. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Whoops. I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Oh... I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Yeah, I think this is like a romance game. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. Feels like... I don't, I don't know. I, I don't have a problem with it, I guess. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the pages. Here. Oh, that's cute. I like that. You know, I envisioned me on the right side, honestly. I mean, on the left side, sorry. Uh, Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn the, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. As if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page? Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah, thanks. I continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own vo vo volition. I think that's how you pronounce that. We continue the chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page feels like... almost feels like an intimate exchange. Oh, My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri, this might be a silly... This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things she that she says and does. Jeez, we don't have to be that aggressive. Like, she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's, it's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But, Kellen, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh, it's so embarrassing that you would think that. But wait, I, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I more meant... Oh, gr come on. I don't want to say that. Please. I guess it's better than guiding you. Uh huh. What, what, what are you saying all of a sudden? Okay, everyone. Uh, <laughs> I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh, Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. No, it's... it's not... it's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book. 
causing it to close on top of my thumb. All right, I guess I'll do the. I'll, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright, I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, and then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration ever s s since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. I forgot the voice I did for her. Sarah and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Ow! Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of <laughs> Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn, of, of of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who would I like to show my poem to first? Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Huh? What was that? Hmm? Did, did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Huh? That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words of the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressive are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's something you can... you. you of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing for a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuka can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. <coughs> Sorry. It's it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to, apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please, do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. It's going to be in cursive. I can't read cursive. It's definitely going to be in cursive. It's got to be in cursive. That's just her personality, from what I've seen. Which itself is kind of fun. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ah, oh, dang it. I can't read that. Okay. Uh, okay, let's try this. Ghost Under the Light. 
The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber, beneath the amber's glow. Be I I don't know what that says. <clears throat> it must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe calm. I, I bathe? What? I breathe calm? No, I, I don't. I something calm. <clears throat> uh, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I, f I flicker black. I, f I flicker back. Jeez. Okay. <clears throat> It's not bad, although I'm in no position to judge poetry. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. <clears throat> but it took you a long time to read. <laughs> no way it picked up on that. Is that intentional? Is that actually intentional? No, did it pick up on how long it... If I had just like skipped past it, would it have? Would she say, oh, you didn't even read it? But it took you a long time to read. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short, was it? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. <clears throat> Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh, actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all, Kellen. Really? I must have totally missed I must I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But I remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences into their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, <clears throat> and soon, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. Ah, sorry, I spaced out there. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Huh? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Eh. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. <clears throat> but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you. Ah, uh, me too. Okay. Uh, I'll show all my poems and then I'm gonna be done. Matsuki is probably gonna hate mine. <clears throat> huh? Helen, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If, if you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to... What? Hold on. If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. I'll get better anyways. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. <sighs> really? That's your poem? It sucks. Yeah told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? That, this, can I like choose what to say? Cause I hated that. That sucked. 
<laughs> Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing is has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make... Oh, your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I, I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. Oh, I get it now. So I decide to write about it. Yeah, I understand. Okay, that actually does make a lot of sense. It's not bad when you put it that way. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did ya? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Let's show Sayori next. <coughs> this is a very good poem, Kellen. Are you sure it's your first are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's it's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right, but that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club. Not to mention the fact I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, uh, well, of course. I'm, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's like I said before. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this <clears throat> for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. No, Knowing how much this means to her and all, yeah, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that, then. Yay! <laughs> now, you'll read my poem, too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me get out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you. Uh, but if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I like that. That's not bad. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. I can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I just forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Hey, don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't mean to say it like it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. Oh, but next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll, I look forward to it. Oh, who should I show my poem to? <laughs> Hi, Kellen. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, 
If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be... Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. That's me. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's... It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? <clears throat> but that's the sort of barrier that we'll... That we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expect everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Sorry, I'm struggling here. Oh, wait, was that me talking? It's... Oh, it was. <laughs> oh, whatever. That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, you know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them desperately analyze all the... I have no idea what that says. <laughs> it can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up... Tr I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could... It, it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way for you... Sorry. <clears throat> That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was just trying to go for Yuri's writing because I wanted her to like it the most. <laughs> so I should just... Uh, I don't know. It's like... It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? <laughs> don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. <clears throat> I see. Well, let's read it then. Okay. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a... F film left out in the sun but it's too late my retinas <laughs> already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image it's just a little hole it wasn't too bright <clears throat> it it was it wasn't too bright it was too deep stretching forever into everything a hole of infinite choices i realize now that i wasn't looking in i was looking out and he, on the other side, was looking in. Okay, that's cool. I like that. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <sighs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on, on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Wasn't that the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yes, something like that. <clears throat> I'm kind of 
I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, but it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get some, something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. That's actually good advice. Okay, well, I think I'm going to stop there for now. <clears throat> um, it's had its ups and its downs. I will say, so far, I will give it a solid 6.5 out of 10. I will see... I will, I will probably play more, so don't worry to any die-hard fans out there. Oh, wow, that is a lot of safe slots. Um, but... Yeah, so that's that's the first episode of this. Uh, I will probably pay, play more. No, I will play more. I just don't know when. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think, I guess. And I will see. Whoa. Oh, that's just what I needed. Perfect. Okay, well, goodbye.